A 7 News alert, a possible motive emerging tonight in the Tom Clements murder case. Investigators working on the chance that a suspect, Evan Abel, may have been carrying out a hit ordered from behind bars. 7 News reporter Don Champion live now at the Capitol. And Don, investigators also looking to see if Abel had an accomplice. And, and Mike, it's one reason why security is being increased around Governor John Hickenlooper. Tonight, investigators are looking into the possibility that a decision made by the state's prison chief just a few weeks ago may have rattled a prison gang so badly someone ordered a hit. They are words from a broken-hearted mother, Evan Ebel's mom, Jody, writing in a new online blog, I am trying to make sense of what has occurred in our lives. We did not see this coming. Investigators also trying to make sense of it, trying to connect the dots between Ebel, the murder of pizza delivery driver Nathan Leon, and state prison chief Tom Clements. Sources tell 7 News one possible motive surrounds a decision by Clements a month ago to shuffle members of the 211 crew around state prisons. Ebel was a member of the gang. Sources say Clements thought the gang was too strong and wanted to weaken their base. His murder, possible retaliation for that decision. It could be done. Reverend Leon Kelly runs a parolee gang reform group and says a hit can easily be made. A girl uh, who went in for a visit, for example, you know, uh, the message sent that way. Somebody's getting out. Uh, the message sent that way. Investigators are now going through Ebel's phone and other forms of communication for any clue on if the murder was a hit job. Even though Kelly believes Abel acted alone, if he indeed was told to perform the job, it would have been an order he felt he had to carry out. If there's fear, and a lot of these guys uh, deal with the element of fear, if you don't do what we tell you to do in the way that we tell you to do it, not only will you be in jeopardy for your safety, but your family as well. And tonight, state prisons are still on modified lockdown in the wake of Clement's murder. We are also told 211 crew members who are in and out of prison are also being interviewed as part of the investigation. We're live downtown tonight, Don Champion, 7 News.